Hey everybody, it's Mark with Renegade Adventures here. Wanted to go over our newest addition to our rentals, which is right in front of you here. It is the new Blackstone Adventure Series 14 inch griddle with side burner. Uh, this is gonna be the newest addition for options on both our Pursue, which you can see right in front of us, and the uh, tag also. The rental is gonna be $45 for your entire trip. And that will also include a one pound propane tank to power the griddle for you. This is replacing our 17 inch uh, griddle that Blackstone has as well. Uh, that griddle is a lot bigger and heavier. Um, and this one is much better designed for camping and any off-road use. So we're gonna go through real quick on how to use this. And uh, please, as always, contact us if you have any questions. So as you can see, the griddle is right here. It's uh, suitcase style. And on the underneath side, you do have a little knob here. This is gonna make sense in a minute how to release the griddle. So open it up, you've got two nice uh, straps here that hold it in place. Pull up the lid, and there's a lock here to push down to lock it in place. That way if there's any wind, it's not gonna shut while you're cooking. The griddle is locked in place, and the grate just comes off above the side burner here. So to get this griddle off, I'm gonna lift up here to show you the best I can on the camera. This black knob underneath, you push up and give it a quarter turn, and that should release the griddle. Once you release the griddle, underneath the griddle, you're going to find the one pound propane adapter. So you can go ahead and pull that aside and put the griddle back in place. It's got two extruded here, extruded parts that slide into slots to lock it into place. Once you have it in those slots, go ahead and lift up on the griddle again, give that a push up and a nice quarter turn, and I'll lock it back in place. Once you do that, you're going to take your one pound propane tank and if you do have a 20 pound or a 10 pound or anything like that we do have the hoses that will adapt to those so you don't have to use this the, uh, ox, the, the port is on the side here for the propane you just go ahead and screw this on and then excuse me for a second while i grab the one pound propane tank that will come with your rental so go ahead and put that onto the grill screw it all the way in until it stops and go ahead and lay that back down. Now to light the griddle, you're gonna have two knobs here on the front. The right knob is for the side burner. And push it in, turn it on, click the igniter. And you will have the, the burner going. It may take a couple times because it gets jostled around when you're moving. Same with the griddle, turn it on. One click should light it for you. You can look through the front and see the, the flames underneath. Now, one last thing before you start cooking. On the back side of the grill, you've got your traditional grease trap that you're gonna have on all grills. But this one is a little different. Because this is built to travel, underneath is where it's stored. Slide that up, pull this out, and then you'll put this hook back down. And on the side of the grease trap, you've got little hooks. So this will just sit just like that and hold it in place. We will have foil and stuff as well to catch the grease for you. Um, and that will be your grease trap. So when you're done with cooking, you clean out the grease trap, lift it up, slide it right back in there, put the hook down, and that's gonna hold it in place for you. So when you're putting everything away, it's gonna be the reverse order. You take this off here, you put your one pound tank adapter underneath, close it all up and you're good to go. Now when closing, remember that this lid is locked in the open position. So when you go to close it, if you pull too hard, you end up bending this lid. So you wanna lift up right there on the, on the hinge, close it down, put the latches in place, and you're good to go. As always, let us know if you have any questions and we hope you enjoy it. Please also note that the griddle on here is not cast iron. This is going to be more like a nonstick pan at your house. So no metal utensils can be used on this. Also, please do not use it over an open flame that can damage the actual griddle itself. Thank you very much.